five years young. Today, Herbert Bennett is marking that milestone. When he was born, women couldn't vote, there was no television, and the average home didn't have running water. Wake News reporter Camila Pereira went to the birthday party of a World War II vet to see what keeps him going after all these years. Happy birthday to you. A World War II veteran, a father, a grandfather, and great-grandfather. Herbert Bennett has led a full life, all 105 years, and he's still going strong. I was born in Elk County, Nebraska, uh, December 4th, 1918, and uh, the folks lived on a farm 12 miles from town, and they didn't have cars in those days. Herbert went to the Philippines, fought in the epic Battle of Leyte Gulf, the largest naval battle of the war, with more than 200,000 sailors involved. I was on three islands in the Philippines. We landed on Leyte, and uh, uh, that's where they had the big battle. We could see it offshore, you know. Herbert got married while in uniform, came home and became a barber. He eventually moved to Inglewood and survived Hurricane Ian. And everything came full circle when he met Maria Cooper at Truewood Charlotte Center. I live in Leyte, Philippines. I was 10 years old and he was telling me that he was in uh, Tacloban, the, the capital of my province. And I said, what were you doing there? He said, we were building an airstrip. Said, a meeting by chance. And just this past summer, Bennett was able to take part in the Honor Flight, a network that organizes flights for American veterans to Washington, D.C., to honor and celebrate them for their services and sacrifices. It was nice. And then when we got back, my son made this book. When you go on that flight, you have to have an escort. And he... He volunteered, and uh, we had a good time. Now, surrounded by his daughter, nieces, family, and friends to celebrate his day, Bennett says life feels good at the big 105. It's been quite a ride. <laughs> Camila Pereira, Wink News. Happy birthday.